All right, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Think You Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill with me, Paul Carpenter. I hope you're having a good day today. Um, okay, so today we are at, I believe it's day seven, and we're doing decisions. Now, this one's really cool and intense because after everything that we've studied and we've gone through and we've created inside and these extra areas and layers that I've been talking about that Napoleon Hill talks about, we get now to decisions? Like, really? I didn't make a decision in the beginning with definiteness of purpose? How could that not be? But I thought I did. So what is this thing that just pops out of nowhere? There's dis you know, decisions. And it's like, whoa, didn't I do organized planning a second ago? I mean, that's, isn't that kind of a decision I'm deciding to make or... Right? So where does that come from? Wow. Well, before we start, hi guys, how you doing? My name is Paul Carpenter, and I want to thank you very much. Uh, I come from the website called mentallyhip.com. That's mentally H-Y-P, because I believe we all mentally hypnotize each other and ourselves one way or another. It creates your perception. So why not just believe that you're mentally hip? You know, mentally hip, like cool. If you do, you start feeling good about yourself. Doesn't matter what you do. You listen, I'm 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 weird, I'm funny, I'm eccentric, but I enjoy it. And I love it. And the more of me that I can enjoy, the more that I can give to you. Yeah. All right. So here we go. If you're wondering what you're watching right now, because you've landed on this kind of like weird guy, and for some odd reason it's been interesting enough for to keep you this long, I'll explain myself. My name is Paul Carpenter. I'm a magician, hypnotist. I travel around the world, and I do magic for most of my living. On the other parts of things, I like to inspire people to find their dreams and go after them in whichever way, shape, or form they so choose, as long as it's giving, loving, sharing, and growing. So, with that, I came up with this idea to do Think and Grow Rich, which is an amazing book by a gentleman by the name of Napoleon Hill who's now passed away but that's okay because we still love him by talking about his work and that is the book Think and Grow Rich and my friends I've been studying the book for a very long time since I was about 13 14 years old and I'm 40 years old now and I kind of understand the book I didn't say I understood it completely but I do understand the book I don't think anybody does this is like one of those things that you could probably study this book for the remainder of your life, and no matter how many times you read it, there's still some kind of little beautiful things that you can find in there. So with that, today is um, decisions. So as I try to do with every chapter, maybe you have a problem with decisions, like making them. So let me see if I can help you out. One of the things I like to do, and this is only if you want to try this out, uh, I, I'm not sure if I have it. Let's see. I might have it. Oh, there it is. Okay, look, I have one. I have it. Let's see. Okay. Uh, ah. So I always carry this around, uh, and this is a coin. I don't know if you can actually see it. It says, attitude is everything. And the thing that I like about this coin is that it says it, yeah, on both sides. Now, what do I mean by this? So, you see, I believe, as some people say, life is like a two-sided coin. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. I say, it doesn't matter if it's good or bad. What matters is your attitude. What matters is how you perceive the moment. Because what makes the difference between what you get and what you do with it is the difference in the attitude that you have in the moment. It's just that simple. Now, um, going into this idea of decision and why I brought the coin out, I want you to think of just a regular coin. Okay, now let's go into another coin. Uh, so let's let's just think of a regular coin. You know, we got we got heads on one side, we got uh, tails on the other one. This is a buffalo coin of some sort. Uh, but um, so usually when you bet, you know, with yourself, you would say heads are uh, heads is uh, good, uh, tails is bad, right? Uh, so let's say you're having a problem making a decision. So I'm going to say that whatever it is that I want, okay, I'm not sure whether I want coffee number one or coffee number two. So I'm going to say coffee A is heads, coffee B or number two is tails, right? Very simple. And uh, I go, 
Now, mind you, I know a bit of information about these two coffees. One has hazelnut and the other one has cocoa. Now, I don't really like cocoa. I'll drink it, but I don't really like it, right? Got me? So, um, I kind of don't want the cocoa already. I, but I can't make a decision. I'm thinking, oh, maybe I do want the hazelnut. Maybe I don't. I don't, maybe I don't like hazelnut. I don't know. But, so that makes, I have to get the coffee with the chocolate. I mean, I don't want chocolate. Whatever. That kind of thing is going through your mind, right? And you can't make the decision. Boom. No problem. Here we go. As the coin is flipping up in the air, believe it or not, as it goes and it flies down, right? And it's about to hit your hand. And you see what it is. Say it ends up on heads. You don't like hazelnut. You're like, yeah, I'll take the chocolate. And it makes a decision for you. I want you to know that internally you already knew what the decision was. And the coin did absolutely nothing for you. The coin did nothing more than kind of portray the reality of what you were thinking. And it put it into something that was really kind of non-consequential. It really wouldn't hurt if you chose either way. But it kind of pushed you over the edge. No, what it did was it gave you a visualization and an internal feeling. Catch this emotion. Catch this thought right now, guys. It, it gave you this internal emotion that finally pushed you over the edge. Decision. All right. So now let's get into decision. Okay. That thing, that feeling, that, mm, that, what seems like an unexplainable thing is really quite understandable. You internally already know what you want. It's the conscious mind that befuddles the beauty of what's already there. You don't trust yourself, so therefore you can't make a decision because you don't want to accept the responsibility. Oh. Oh. Wow. Do you catch that? So even after we have definiteness of purpose, even after we have um, faith and applied knowledge and all these other chapters, you got to ask yourself, right, when you've already done the organized planning, you know, imagination, wow, now, decision, it's decision time, buddy, what do you really want now because if you choose it right my friend if you make the right decision and you don't give up you persist until you insist if you can do that do you get it because that's when it starts to happen guys that's when it starts to happen okay it's this it's this moment okay let me give it to you it's this moment the moment the moment happens once you decide if you don't make the total decision to do it nothing happens no matter how many dreams you create no many thoughts you do no matter how much you say i'm going to do it till it ends you must decide. You have to first go through all of those things and build this beautiful thing in your mind first. The imagination, applied knowledge, all this information over here. Just to then get to one point now and say, do you really want this? Because if you really want this, the universe will give it to you. So what do you really want? My friends, this is Paul Carpenter. Today was uh, a good one as far as I'm concerned. Today was a really 
awesome one today was decisions. If you'd like to find out what's going on, come to my uh, uh, Facebook, uh, my YouTube, my Instagram, my any of the social medias. They're all at Mentally HYP. This is Paul Carpenter, and I am telling you right now, all you have to do, love it. Feel yourself and know that you are worthy. That's right, my friends. Today is the day that you go out into the world and make it the way you want to see it. My friends, this is Paul Carpenter. Go out there, please, if you can, for me. Do something nice for somebody else if you can. Please, for me, do something nice for yourself uh, if you can't do it for somebody else. And uh, with that, please go out there and kick ass and take initials because you don't have time for the names. This is Paul Carpenter, and I'm signing out, and I'll see you tomorrow. Love ya. Have a great day. Bye-bye.